Well, for those who don't know me, I'm Bill Russo, and this is my first year, and it definitely won't be my last either. Um, now, CIP, where do I begin how it's changed my life actually forever? And it also changed a lot of other things along the way. Um, when I first um, heard of the program and came to visit Mary for the first time, the first suggestion that she made was to change which school I would go to. Originally, you know, I was finally, finally getting my associates from ECC, and I thought, well, I guess I didn't even know it was this hard, I guess I should continue on and see what happens. So I'd figure out do what the rest of my colleagues over there did, was to go to Buff State for social work. Um, but when, again, when being married, she suggested that I go to Damon. Well, in Peter, it was right next door, it's convenient, and, um, you know, smaller school and all that. But I can tell you it's the best decision I've ever made. I, I probably wouldn't be where I am today without going to Damon. I've made more, more friends there than anywhere else ever before. It would have been impossible to do that in a big school like Buff State. But anyhow, um, but here at CIP, I think the best of friends are the students here at CIP. Um, see, CIP, you know, there's lots of different agencies out there that claim to serve the needs of people. But this one is much different. Here, for, for one thing, you don't feel like, you just, other places you feel like you're in an institution or a place for that you just feel like you're just you're locked up. I don't know. I'm trying to think of a good word, you know. You just feel like your IQ drops when you drop when you walk in. I don't know. But here it's different. We all um, I mean yeah we have our different things going on, but we all kind of function at the same level, which is, you know, no one would ever know unless we told them. Um, here at CIP, um, our staff are more like friends than, you know, distant professionals. Um, we, um, instead of just them just serving us, we all kind of help each other out. Um, it's like a collaborative community. We all work together, and that's how we accomplish what we get what we get done and that's how we're all successful um, a, another great thing was the fact that for the first time being the only well being the only student from Buffalo being in, in the Buffalo program um, the fact that everyone else was from outside the area and I've never really had that opportunity um, and now I do um, to build networks whether it's jobs in the future, or just an excuse to visit someone in another state that you normally wouldn't visit. You would not have no reason to visit that state. Um, but um, I, again, I would say, you know, the best friends are friends at CIP. Um, now, with Damon, um, um, I mean, the, the suggestion of a school change, you know, I kind of figure it would have, you know, higher standards than other schools, and yes, they do, but, um, but with being at CIP, it was not an issue, it was not an issue at all, I got through it all, um, all the supports I got, and then, you know, getting a Dean's List Award in the fall, and then, um, you know, acceptance in the upper division, because at Damon, you don't just become a junior, you have to apply and write the hardest, it's kind of like a research, not research, um, an essay. I mean, I've had to write papers for classes, and this paper was ten times harder than the hardest paper I'll probably ever write in college. She had to write is a soul-searching paper about why you should be uh, going to social work. Well, I got done, well, thanks to Judy, um, and... Um, and of course, I got in, and they were very, very happy with what you know what I wrote. It wasn't just like, well, okay, you you got in. You know, they were they were very happy. 
and um, also, um, and again, um, with making so many friends at, at, at the school, um, I've, you know, everyone's got gotten to know me. Unfortunately, because I'm so bad with remembering names, I don't, I still, that's something I have to work on, but I've never had so many people say, hi, Bill, to me every day of the week, like over there. Um, now, in my department, um, I've gotten more and more involved as time goes on, and the last major thing I was involved with was our humanitarian award dinner. We presented it to um, a member of the Erie County Sheriff who um, uh, basically goes after um, people who commit human trafficking violations. It's a, a very terrible crime. It's very, it'll take a long time to explain what it is if you don't, you don't understand it. Uh, but um, she you know, goes after those who commit the crime and, and then rescues the victims. And the money we raised um, was to build a facility for them to stay at. Because right now her only option is to place them in donated hotel rooms. So we were very happy to help out with that. And, and then at the dinner, I mean, I just, I just couldn't believe how many nice things were said about me. It was amazing. Um, I was to be like a social work pioneer, or um, something like that. And um, um, also, my um, my colleagues in the department have, it was, well, around that time, if not that night, um, said that um, well, this, she, she she is the um, currently the social work alliance president now. Her and others told me that they want to nominate me for the presidency of the social work alliance. So if that does happen, then that will be my next, truly be my next chapter of my life. Um, but, um, I mean, I came in here with a lot of, I mean, even with some other skepticism and, you know, is it really to get better from here? And, um, I mean, I had so much trouble with school that it kind of, it kind of spilled into all the other the other things you have to do, like, you know, the executive side of life, the social side of life, and so therefore, I mean, along with, you know, I mean, I spent a lot of time in Vicki's office, you know, working on different assignments, and let's see what happens, is because it, it, got to, it was just too much for me, that's why it got into the other areas, but luckily since they also take care of those issues here as well, we were able to address those, and of course those other issues were probably easier to address. Um, and they and I've gotten so far, like I, I didn't think I would be able to live on my own, because I was thinking, you know, I had such a hard time with school, how can I work, or how can I, it was just like, how can I live my own when school itself is hard enough already? And well, I've been living my own since, well, almost a year now, so that probably would not have been accomplished without the supports here. Um, but um, I would say, um, just to sum it up, I mean, I, don't, I just don't know what I would do without CIP, and so I am hoping to be here for another year at a, at a higher, um, or what do you call it, a lower level of support. High, the numbers go up, but <laughs> the support goes down, I guess. So one more year, I mean, because, I mean, in upper division, um, you're, you're doing really more stuff that's really in the field. So um, so just for that, but other than that, I would say, I mean, the success of CIP is here. And I just don't know what I would do without it.